Welcome to another Lizard Tech video. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to bring in um, a Mr. Sid MG4 LiDAR file into LP360. LP360 being a very popular and uh, very widely used software uh, package for um, editing and analyzing point clouds. Uh, first things first, I'm going to show you the data that we're going to be using today. This right here is a, uh, an MG4 point cloud, and I'm showing it right now in GeoExpress, our flagship software group for creating Mr. Sid compressed imagery in LiDAR. You can see that the raw image size here is about 235 megabytes, and the input file size, uh, which is the actual size of the Mr. Sid, is about 100 megabytes. You can see it's a lossless MG4, so all of the raw data values have been preserved, even though it's compressed at uh, at, at greater than you know, it's, it's compressed to greater than um, more than half the size. So um, pretty good savings in, in file size there, um, without having to sacrifice any of the quality of the raw data. So I've already pre-compressed this data clearly to Mr. Sid. I'm going to now go over to LP360, which I've already opened up, and I'm going to show you how to bring it in. So if you select File and Import from MG4, LP360 brought in this um, option for importing MG4 files um, into their software. So if you look over here and import MG4 files, there is an output format um, option of last that is selected. So what MP, LP360 will do is they will basically take that MG4 file, they'll read it, and they'll create a corresponding last file to it. Um, the benefit being, you know, it's going to be, uh, you know, identical to whatever the raw, um, original raw data was that that MG4 um, is created from. The drawback being it's going to be in last, so it's going to basically be at a decompressed size. So it's going to be about 235 megabytes or so. I'm going to select Add here. I'm going to go over to Mount Mitchell LiDAR, which is my file. So it's, I selected that. It'll pop up here in a sec. Okay. Now I'm going to save the output to my, let's see, I'm going to save it to the same place. There we go. This will populate now. And I'm going to choose, I get the option down here to choose a number of different versions. I'm going to choose 1.4 because it has the most space for new classifications. So I hit, hit, hit finish. And right now, again, it's parsing through all that MG4 data. It's reading it. And it's, uh, at the same time, it's writing a new corresponding last file. Obviously, the bigger the file, the bigger the MG4, the longer this will take, uh, and vice versa. So, it says import complete, but it's not really complete. Once that's done, you, we have to go in and actually add it using this Add Files um, menu. We actually have to go in and add the, the last file. So you can see here, do do do, and it comes in, and uh, we're selecting. Here we go. Here are the points, yep, so it's, you can see it's actually even a little bit bigger, um, close to 246 megabytes. So that's, again, that's really just the drawback um, of the way that LP360 handles that uh, Mr. Sid file. Um, last layer one, version 1.4, okay, looks all good there. Um, We've actually, we're opening it as a read-write, so that would allow us to actually edit classifications um, and edit other parts of the point cloud versus open read-only, which is really just for viewing. And here, it's actually going to write some pyramids to it as well. So here we go. So you can see um, here on the right-hand side is just your 2D view. Here's the 3D view. I've opened up this 3D window. Um, LP360 has some really nice options for um, viewing the 3D uh, version of the of the point cloud. You can see up here, 
This is a I've chosen to display at 10. That's what gives it this um, kind of smoothing and this a little bit greater, um, oh, I don't know, aspect of, of elevation. Um, and over here, there's obviously a lot of different uh, options for displaying by different, you know, color bands, intensity, classification, things like that. Right. So you can see here the different, some of these classifications. So a lot of this is unclassified data, but you can see some of the classification, this ground classification, which is in red there. Now there are other options to filter by, by classification. Um, it's really, uh, I can you know, do a mass deselect and then just select the ones I want. And you can see on the background, you can see how this is actually when I take out points, you can see how it's actually changing in the background. There's a lot of unclassified data in this data set, unfortunately, but there's uh, there's also some ground classifications in there too. Anyway, and you can you can edit, you can create custom filters uh, for classifications. It's it's pretty. I mean, it's obviously it's incredibly extensive as to what you can do inside of LP360. Um, you know, if you want to come in here and actually create features and uh, you know, reclassify things and um, edit your point cloud. There's a, just a tremendous amount of tools I'm not even going to begin to touch um, in this demonstration. But, uh, you know, the folks at GOQ very kindly uh, let me um, have this uh, software to trial, and I, I really highly recommend you getting in touch with them to um, maybe try all the software yourself and to get more information about uh, what is possible inside of this very powerful piece of, uh, of software. So again, I hope this has been informative um, and I've shown you how to basically bring in your MG4 file and how to create a corresponding last file that is used in LP360 and just barely touch the surface of some of the really um, powerful tools inside this piece of software that you can use to edit the point cloud. At this point, I think we'll uh, call it a day. Thank you very much. If you have any questions uh, regarding um, this uh, video, please email info, info at lizardtech.com. Um, you can feel free to uh, email me. My name is Jeff Stewart, jstewart at lizardtech.com as well. And I'll look forward to your comments and suggestions. Thanks, thanks very much, and I hope you have a great uh, rest of your day.